math topic 4-4 question 7 to 13 all question number seven six people have five hundred and seventy six dollars that they wish to share equally so they have the following they have five one hundred dollar bills in their hand seven ten dollar bills in their hand and six one dollar bills in their hand so again with this all added up, it equals $576. So they have five $100 bills, seven $10 bills, and six $1 bills. If all the $100 bills are replaced with $10 bills, how many $10 bills would they have total among them? So they went to the bank with those five $100 bills, and they, went, and they said, I want $10 bills in return. How much would the bank person give them? And the question is, now with those $100 bills gone, how many $10 bills do they have in their pocket? Again, they still have 576, but how many $10 bills do they have total for this question, including all, everything? 7B, how many $10 bills will each person get in a group of six people? So whatever answer you got for this one up here, you're sharing it out among six people. So it's kind of like division. You're putting it in groups of six. So how many will each person get? Remember, with the remainder, you can't tear money into pieces. It doesn't work that way. So don't worry about the remainder for this question. How many $10 bills will they have total so everyone has the exact same amount? 7c how many ten dollar bills are left over that can't be shared equally among six people so whatever you got for the remainder up here that's left over that can't be shared equally how many is that how many ten dollar bills is that for this question right here 7d if you are to replace the remaining ten dollar bills with one dollar bills and add them to the $1 bills you already have from up here, how many $1 bills would you have total? So remember this right here, your remainder. If you took those to the bank and said, I want $1 bills in return, and you add them to the other $1 bills, how many $1 bills would you have in your hand? That's what I want for 7D. Okay, so now 7E, what is the total amount each person will get after breaking down the $576 with 10s and 1s? So if you do straight division, how much would each person have if you did $576 and divide it into groups of 6? Now here's the cool thing. Remember how you had started breaking these all down with 10s and 1s? Remember how many $10 bills they had up here? Remember how many $1 bills? If you were to divide those $1 bills into groups of 6, it equals this exact same amount right here. So with the $10 bills and the $1 bills, if you divide those into 6, like it says, it equals that exact same amount right there. So the question is, with $576 divided into groups of six, how much is each person going to get? And questions 8, 9, 10, and 11 is straight division. 355 divided by 5, what is that? 693 divided by 7, what is that? 364 divided by 4, what is that? And 492 divided by 6. What is that? Good luck.